Right, so let's go on to the next thing. Um, let's talk about Wi-Fi and all these other things. First of all, let's check this drop-down menu, which is uh, here. So as you can see, you have your Wi-Fi, you have your mobile data, I'm going to explain that, and then you have your theme. We can actually change the theme of uh, the TI CC3. And that's actually cool. I don't see any other head units of the same quality kind of do that. And obviously, you can put your units in standby, and then you can switch off the screen, and then you can decide to, you know, reboot your device in case if it starts freezing and doing all kinds of stuff like all Android devices are capable of doing. Great. So, I'm going to go to settings right here. Now, here's a shortcut for settings, but, you know, for the sake of this video, I'm going to use the, um, the app version, right? So, settings right there. You go to settings. Okay. Thing is this. About this device, you can put a SIM card in there, okay, to basically give it its own Wi-Fi. Yeah, you heard that right. So if you put a SIM card in here, and then you give it unlimited data or whatever data you decide to give it, it basically uses Wi-Fi based on that data. And then people can actually call your car, I believe, because there's a SIM card in there if they call the SIM card's number. And also, you can actually change this and hotspot other people as well who don't have wi-fi or don't want to use their mobile data once they hop in your car you can create a hotspot and once you create the hotspot they can connect to your radio and your radio will feed their phones or other devices wi-fi so it's good if you have children in your car and they cannot keep still because of adhd and sugar rush you can basically just give them internet on their devices now because children are spoiled these days and then they can actually sit down hold still and be distracted by the device whilst you safely drive without having to tend to them all right great so that is what happens if you put a sim in there in case if you cannot afford a you know a sim you know um contract for your device your your car by itself and you just have unlimited data on your phone you can actually create a hotspot with your phone and you can connect using the wi-fi so as you can see i have connected using um my phone's um hotspot just to prove my point and once that's done you can basically use the device for um internet so here we go with your data usage it tells you um what your you know data usage is you can have data saver on to make sure that you don't go over a certain amount you know limits of data and then here you have your sim so obviously when you get this device it gives you the option to actually um use two sim slots one sim slot is actually within the device itself you just push it in the device and then you install your device and then the second one actually comes with a sim slot so it's kind of similar to something like this but it's actually behind the radio where you can put another sim in basically you can have two different sims for that device i don't know why a person would do that but then again it depends on you know your circumstance i have a sim in there um unfortunately i don't remember what the number is so i'm probably gonna have to get that out and uh, put that in again and i know i don't actually have a sim inside the device itself which would be sim slot number one so you have two sim slots right there all right so there you go next one is obviously more um like i said um you can actually create a hotspot you can put this on airplane mode and you can actually use a vpn so you can actually not be tracked while doing all your illegal activities and stuff all right and next one is a device right so device you have your car model again i've already made a tutorial on how to set your car model to make sure your steering and everything actually works and if you actually want to tamper with your steering and uh, make customize it there you go you can click this and then uh, you can actually play with this i wouldn't recommend you do that though because uh what's the point all right display so display you can actually change your brightness level all right i remember i showed a tutorial where we actually tried to do that on the mx player didn't work um, because MX Player doesn't, it's only, you know, for playing videos and stuff. You can't actually adjust the brightness of MX Player. You can actually do it on here, okay? You can also change the wallpaper, okay? And then also the auto black screen. I'm sure you can figure that one. Display net switch. I don't even know what that does, but I don't need it. So I'm not going to, you know, go into depth with that. Sound, you can actually, you know, change certain settings here. Everything here that you see is basically what you get, all right? GPS. Like I said, um, I don't think I've actually done a tutorial on that. All right, so you can change your GPS based on what you're seeing here. What you see is what you get. I don't understand this, but uh, I'm sure somebody can make sense of this. This device actually does come with GPS. So, um, in general, you can actually get TIs online. It's actually quite cheap to get it for three years. If you pay for it, you can 
um, track your car where it is in case if someone steals it and does not know that it actually has a GPS device in there kind of thing but that's only worked if your device has internet on there so if you're planning to track your device and use TIs online I do recommend that you pay for TIs online and you actually pay for a sim card um, and actually you know put it inside the device so that it's constantly online and you can actually report back to the app so yeah you do require Wi-Fi um, or internet access in general in order for the GPS to work in order for you to use TIs online all right storage you can actually put a sim card in the device all right so I've used 13.72 gigabyte of my 64 gigabyte I can actually put a sim card in there I did not um, remember to do that but eventually I will so yeah like I said it's like a um, Android tablet all right next one is applications you can actually go here and look at your application uninstall and you know force close and these all these other things that you will be able to do with your mobile phone. I'm sure everybody's been here before, right? So next one is, I don't know what this is. I really don't know what it is. It just calibrates your gyro calibration. I don't know what the hell that is. But yeah, next is uh, general. So in general, right, if you look at Navi app, Navi app is the default navigation app that your um, device goes to once, you know, you see that little blue button uh, in the menu. Once you press that, it goes to an app a predestined app that you've set so i've set it to um you know the two map applications you have yandex which already comes with ti's and then you actually have google maps i've set it to google maps because uh that's what i'm used to right so everything here is settings that you can actually um tamper with i don't really tamper with any of these so i'm just getting you to have a look so you understand exactly what this um device is all about so obviously for factory settings um you know it comes with a password right and what password for ti's every ti's device is one six eight so you press confirm and there you go you get extra settings that you can tamper with with your um car now what i have heard okay is that you can actually change the color of the you know led thingy here um one of these actually does it right but i can't figure out which one it that does and to be honest with you i'm not really bothered about that i really am not I'll just have you look at the settings so you can actually see um, all the settings for yourself and, you know, decide whether you like this device or not. And then obviously you have user. So obviously, you know, your location, this this is like all the accounts that you've used to log into your Google and all these other things. OK, so you have your location, security, language input, backup, reset the entire device, Google Plus settings and, you know, your Google accounts and all that nonsense. And then obviously you have systems. You can set a date and time. You can check your device info. Develop options, uh, developer options is actually locked because uh, you're not a developer of, you know, TI, so therefore you can't do that. And then obviously it's about your device and accessibility, okay? So, yeah, um, that is mostly what you can do with TIs, all right? Let's see, am I forgetting anything else? No, not really. I mean, equalizer, that's for sound, right? Yeah, there you go. You can actually... Uh, play with that um, you can actually go into your folders and you know input files there like I said you can put your USBs in here and know who knows what's on this and uh, yeah that's basically how this works you have a gallery right here and it scans everything and shows you uh, what you can and cannot do with it you have your music player and yeah Let's go to TIs Online. So TIs Online, obviously, there are no codes here. All right. This is my ID. I'm going to blur that out so no one actually knows what my ID is because there are trolls out there and they will try. All right. Um, so once you activate TIs Online, obviously, I explain uh, what TIs Online does. And uh, yeah, um, you don't need any further explanation on uh, what it does. So... Yes, I think, I believe, I've basically covered everything that this device does, right? So, uh, yeah. There you go. I'm not trying to get a copyright strike. So, let me know your thoughts on what you think for the TIs for the Voxel Astro J. Now, before I go, I will have you know that before I got the CC3, I decided to get the T Pro. Now the T Pro fits perfectly in. It doesn't actually bulge out. It fits perfectly in with the scar. The problem with that one is, and I would not recommend you get that, unless you are willing to cut off a piece of your car 
from the insides of the panel okay so um the problem is this bit and you know the little led thingy that was there before i put this there um has something separating um it from each other and that thing literally stops you from you know pushing the t pros system in there and it was kind of a problem so i looked online and it said that you can actually um the the t pros um system is designed for you to um you know push it up and down to make sure it's adjustable and can actually fit i tried that um it didn't work and uh eventually i ended up breaking the the t pro radio so that's literally like what 200 pounds just gone down the drain um of me trying to do that so it's not gonna fit it is not going to fit and then i watched a few tutorials on youtube and i saw someone actually cut off a piece the piece that was blocking and stopping me from putting the t pro in and yeah that's the only way in order to do it to make it fit to be honest with you that little you know scheme of having it fit inside this properly without having to cut anything that doesn't work um and i've actually seen a lot of people complain about that too after i experienced and um looked it up so yeah um i want to recommend you getting the t pro anyway because that version seems hella out of date all right and the android version on the t pro is also out of date so if anything i'd say just get this one because um yeah like this thing has split screen right i don't think i've um used split screen before hold on how do i do split screen i remember you uh hi i think you press this there you go see split screen all right um it can be any other application that you really want to be honest with you um let's go with video player so there you go you have music and then you have your video player right there I don't know why you want to watch um, a movie and then I don't know listen to music at the same time. You can just have like Google Maps here, and then obviously you know have your music player. You can adjust this um, depending on if the application that you're using allows you to do that. But yeah, um, in general, don't get the T Pro for the Voxel Astra J. And in fact, um, the other thing to um, warn you about is. The instructions are really complicated to understand. It's going to take you a while. Eventually, you'll get there. But uh, it's very simple. It's just that the instructions are really, you know, bad at explaining exactly what you have to do. So, it's not that the task is hard. It's not hard at all. It's simple. The instructions are just suck. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, it's quite simple to install once you know how to, you know, take things out of here and then put things you know put your radio back in there but then again you can actually pay someone to do that for you if you know they know how to do that to be honest with you um i'd say just if you can afford it just pay someone to do that because to be honest with you it saves you time and if you can't be bothered to do it then yeah i will not criticize you for you know paying someone to use their time to do the stuff that you have to do if you can afford it so yeah um in general that is all i have right now I want to know your thoughts in the comments. I want to know what people think about this device. And um, tell me things that you want me to try on this device. And then I will uh, I will actually try them and record them. And then put them online for you guys to, you know, uh, watch. So, yeah. That being said. Hold on. I forgot one more thing. <laughs> so, in general, wallpapers. So, people are wondering, how do you change the wallpaper? So, all you do is, you hold, and guess what? You can choose live wallpaper, or just wallpapers in general. Wallpaper can be anything you want down here. Now, you don't have to stick with these. You can actually go on the uh, App Store, and uh, you can actually uh, download your own wallpapers, or you can use your own pictures as wallpapers. Basically, what you can do on an Android device all right, let's use this one as, a, as an example, okay? So I set wallpaper, and as you can see, look, there you go. See? It's right there, all right? It's wallpaper there. If you want to use live wallpaper, just go here. And every TI's device, even the T Pro that I had that broke, literally has the spinning earth, all right? Now, they'll ask you home screen or home screen and lock screen. This thing does not have a lock screen, so anybody who gets in your car can basically use it. So, yeah, um, just press any one will do, basically, and then, yeah, you will have a spinning earth, which looks very futuristic in uh, your device. Um, so, that is basically it, and I think one more thing to change is the theme. Now, obviously, I've heard that you can change the theme, though I've not tried it before, so this will be the first time I actually try to change the theme so if you select the theme you'll get this pop-up menu here and then you can actually change 
the way your ti is actually looks now this has that little you know i think this is the s pro kind of theme to it and it actually uh doesn't make much of a difference but it kind of looks cool you know you can change the theme and all that to what's basically suits you um if you look at this one my friend likes some um, gold um colored stuff so yeah this actually does look nice i'm not gonna lie but me in general i like the color blue so the first theme looks nice to me but then obviously like if you're a boring person you can actually you know choose gray too <laughs> um yeah um that's basically themes in general i like colorful things because in the uk you know the uk lacks the uk lacks a lot of color so whenever i see color i'm attracted to it so there you go that being said that has been the tutorial for the themes all right finally I think TI's vision, I think I've covered this, but I'm just gonna cover it again, just in case, right? So what you can do is actually change the model of the car. I believe so. I believe you can change the model of the car. I've not seen anyone do it, but I've seen, you know, people just try and modify this and change the car. Um, you can actually change the color. You can change, um, you know, let's see here, as you can see, you can change the color of the car. Um, yes you can change the license plate to your one if you want i don't see the point of that and obviously the speed unit um you can change that as well miles per hour or you know kilometers an hour wherever it is to be honest with you this really doesn't make a difference for me but yeah that being said that is the ti's cc 